Yeah, it's Kathleen Packett, and today is day 29, and we are going to find out what kind of eyes you have. So what makes one person more successful than another? Same opportunity, same environment, same economy, same location, or same company that they're working for, and yet one is highly successful and one isn't. One reason is one has a vision, a, a very clear vision of where they want to go. And they keep their eye on what it is that they want. And by doing that, they see the opportunities that are placed in front of them. And when they see those opportunities, they take action. The other person did it because they said, I'll try that. Or they don't know where it is that they want to go for the end result. And if you do not know what it is you want, if you do not start from the end result of what it is you want, how in the world will you ever see what the opportunities are that will get you there? Because once you've planted in your mind what it is you want, all of the things that you need to get there will be shown to you. As long as you have laser focus on what, it, what that is, you will see those opportunities. As long as you are modeling yourself after somebody that has been successful. If you're modeling yourself after somebody that has never had success in their life, the chances are you won't either because they can't take you there. They, you don't have anybody to emulate. You don't have anybody to, to have followed in those footsteps. You don't have anybody that's helping you open your mind to see those opportunities, to, to look at a bare piece of ground, say, and, and see the, the structure or the beauty that you could turn that into. All you would, would see is, is, burnt up grass and, and um, clay soil or something, something that's just really ugly and, and you're thinking, what could you possibly do with that? While the other person sees all the things that they could do with that. It's vision. It's being open and looking for every opportunity that is placed before you. That's a person with an opportunistic eye. I mean, how many times are you in the shower and you get this great idea, but how many times do you act on the idea that came to you? And then a few months later, you might say, I had that idea. The difference being is that that person took action when they got the idea. 